Ladies and gentlemen, what is crack a lack in? Uh, welcome to another review. This obviously is the uh, NECA uh, Prometheus figures, the uh, uh, engineer share suit, and the uh, precious suit. Um, I think it's kind of interesting that they don't really have the NECA logo anywhere near the uh, box, like in the front of the uh, blister package, um, or in the back. It's at the bottom, actually, right here. You can see it. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I have just you don't know what company this is like bam that's awesome anyways but yeah that's how they come packaged the little blister package so not very much important except for the fact that it has everybody that worked on it so that's pretty awesome i think every company should do this especially if it's a collectible figure so um yeah that's pretty awesome so you know exactly who worked on it so looking at the figures um the pressure shoot dude pressure shoot pre it's uh, pretty cool, but definitely this uh, the uh, chair suit is the uh, the one to get if you're gonna get just the one. Um, pretty awesome. I'm not really sure why this is sideways because it looks like it was supposed to be straight. Um, I'm not sure if it's just my figure, but um, if you look at the package right here, this is straight, but not on the final product, at least on mine. So I'm not really sure why. Not something that I'm like, uh, but I mean like. Seriously, um, why did it change? Um, is it like that in the movie? I don't, I don't think so. But like I said, no, no, doesn't really matter. Um, uh, anyways, uh, let's look at the uh, one that I don't really like the most first, which is not to say that it sucks, but um, I mean you can't compete with that. Um, so the pressure suit, um, this is actually soft rubber. As you can see his butt is soft. It's all the way up to here, and even in the front, you can kind of see it moving. That's kind of cool. The paint job is pretty kick-ass. Um, for some reason, I think the, uh, the the thing that I don't like is the head. Um, I'm sure some of you think this is perfect, and some of you are like me. But um, there's just something missing. Um, I was watching the movie, and then I paused the movie, and I put it to, uh, next to him. And there's, I don't know, it's just a skull. But it's definitely not something to be like, oh my god, this is just not good. So uh, definitely a, a, a getter if you're going to get it, you know. Um, what, it, what what else can I say? I mean, the, the sculpting is pretty awesome. Um, they're pretty tall too compared to the uh, normal figures. Um, this one is, let me see, um, eight inches above eight inches. As you can see, that's pretty sweet. Um, then you got the comparison of the uh, predator over here, which uh, you know dwarfs them a little bit, right? You know, it's pretty cool. That's that's I think this is how Arnold and Predator should look like this should be the Predator and this should be Arnold and that should be the size difference not the size difference that we get from uh, the uh, companies when it comes to making that Predator but anyways enough about this guy let's talk about this guy now this guy is freaking phenomenal the sculpting is uh, amazing I mean it's just uh, the solid color so there's not really that much um, I guess, uh, I don't know, color contrast, but there is, I was gonna say there's not much contrast, but there is, even though it's a solid color-ish looking dude. Um, uh, what do you call it? I just, I really love the sculpting on this dude. Um, be careful with the nozzles. Um, I broke this one, I mean, I think I, I blew on it, it just disappeared. So it has the little ones over here, you don't want to break those. I mean, it, this one's easy to uh, put back in there, you don't even have to glue it, just put it there. Um, but uh, but yeah, the the sculpting on this dude is freaking amazing. You got the uh, the elephant face and the uh, what do you call it? The the everything. The whole helmet looks pretty badass. It looks just like the movie. There's really nothing wrong on this figure except for this thing that's supposed to be straight. And uh, yeah, the, the the legs, which I didn't show you, articulation is really. Um, pretty much useless on these figures. I mean, there's really not that much articulation, um, not much posing abilities. Um, really, it's just a display figure. I mean, yeah, you can play with it and whatnot. You can I can't, see, you can't even throw a kick. So uh, I was gonna go, but yeah, I can't even do that. So not much articulation, but um, definitely, like I said, a display piece and um, pretty awesome. They do complement each other. I mean, they're buddies and whatnot. Um, here are the legs on this guy. I didn't get to show you that. Um, the back so like I said the sculpting is pretty spot-on um, pretty kick-ass looking figure and definitely a must um, I don't know if they still have them I'm sure if you check out uh, Toys R Us they do but um, but yeah so this is the uh, NECA 
um, Prometheus Engineer set. It's not really a set because they don't come together, but whatever. Um, and they do kick major ass, especially this dude right here. Later! Are now, why 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 are now,